Are we doing the thing? Are you ready? Uh, welcome, to, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Is I'm it, Daniel. Is it's it? Rare Whiskey Friday, first impressions yeah. time. Is it? Now, who did it last time? Um, I did it. You did it last time? Yeah, and I think I got flow, but yeah. I stumbled on like a couple of words. And I even got. I don't think it was stumble. I, I think vibe. I think you replaced words so directly. Or left them out. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm about to do some deep diving. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I need more lats. I gotta have some lats for that. Okay. Oh, oh I'm a little nervous. Uh, performance. You got this. Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. We're gonna go through and give first impressions on several different whiskeys. These aren't necessarily large brands. Sometimes they are. More often than not, these are gonna be your smaller craft distilleries without a lot of distribution. If you should be so lucky as to live in the place to get your hands on these whiskeys, you're welcome for the review. And thank you to the magnificent bastard that sent the whiskey. Come on! That was pretty good. But the, it's just, as like the tail end. Yeah. I get into the red zone, man. Yeah. I get into the red zone. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. All right. What do we got? So this is uh, first two different people sent us. No joke. Two different people a week apart sent us the same four bottles. Okay. All four yes. from each of them. Yep. So first. Oh wow. Eric Nix, otherwise known as Sire Zen or whatever he wants to call himself this week, <laughs> uh, who is a patron saint of whiskey. I'm the Eric Eric Nix. Eric Nix. Eric Nix. You patron saint of whiskey. Just hurts. I can't do that. I jacked up my wrist, and every time I hit right there, sharp pain goes straight up my forearm. How's the marbling? Ah, or like right there, just yep. solid pain. Do you have good marbling? No, it's not visible. All right. Um, anyway, but also a titan of whiskey sent us the same freaking four bottles. <laughs> Brian Dickerson. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear that? I do. Could it be? It's Brian. Cheers, you magnificent bastards. Ages ago, Eric sent us 30 of these in like little bitty sample bottles. Right. Because he wanted us to do Rich Writing Men three times. And I emailed him back and I was like, I'm not opening those, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can't do samples or opened bottles. Right. So he went back and bought the, actually bought the bottles and well, sent no, them that's, in. That's commitment. Like, damn, all that's, right. That's commitment right there. Um, so how do we want to do these? We've got, we got a, a bourbon, yeah. a rye, a whiskey, and a white dog. So I recommend we start with the white dog. Yes, I agree. And then... Um, well, what is this white dog age? Then I want to do whiskey versus bourbon. So this is the corn. Yeah. So let's do the white dog. You said one of these is corn, right? Uh, no, no. Well, oh, the so bourbon is corn. But one of them just says whiskey, and I don't know why it's not bourbon. Okay. Unless it's just the same as the bourbon, but used oak. So let's start with white dog. It's got then do whiskey, little, then bourbon, then finish with a little rye. darker color on the one that says whiskey than the one that says bourbon. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So speak, uh, it was having a. So the patron saint ceremony always makes me think of your dad, and I was having an interesting conversation with your dad uh, on Friday, and he posed the question. How self-aware do you think you are? Oh. Yeah. Can you ever really answer that question correctly? Yeah, and then... Uh, I'll then, touch this. Then we expanded it 
to where how aware are you, how aware, aware do you think you are of yourself versus how aware do you, are you of what other people think about you? Oh, which is two different things. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Why don't you address that? Don't move those. It's, it was actually a long thought process. I can walk you through it. Well, no, it's for Whiskey Friday. We got to okay. move this. Okay. okay. Okay, keep those right here. So we got the white dog here. Yeah, because I poured the wrong one when I started. Okay. Okay, white dog first. Yeah. This is 78% corn mash bill, which is the same as what's in the whiskey and the same as the bourbon. So we get a three phase, which I want to kind of make happen. Three iterations of the same mash bill, which is kind of fun. I like that. I like that new make. That's a nice new make. You know what's cool about these guys? They, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they cooper their own freaking barrels. What? They do every make everything themselves. Right. They even cooper their own barrels. That's. They are woodsmen. Wow. Missouri. All right. Oh, isn't that where most of the the whiskey barrel wood comes from? Mm-hmm. It's Missouri. Missouri oak. Okay. Oh, right. it's um. What is that? It's a. It's it's. This sounds silly to yeah. say out loud, but it's um, cream corn. Okay. Roasted cream corn, like at Trattoria Lucina. I get that. I also get a. So it's it's a nice new make. Mm-hmm. I get uh, a little nip of. Uh, guava and a little nip of tobacco. Yeah, I don't know about the tobacco, but I can see the guava. The aromatic pipe mm -hmm. tobacco. Ah, that's really nice. Yeah. Oh. That's, it's a little clingy. It's like a minty. Almost medicinal. Yeah, like a mint medicine type of deal on the, yeah. fin on the finish. That's very weird. Hmm. I've never ever tasted that before. That is... 62.5% alcohol. I think that's a fermentation faint. Like, a, not faint, there's no faints in fermentation, but a fermentation... I like drug, dragged the in. The first half of this on the taste. Yeah, then the finish is like... Wah. Yeah, that's where you get a little bit of that medicinal hotness. So what I want to see is, can mm. the barrel fix that? So here's the first round that's just called whiskey. Okay. Whoa! Ooh. There you go. That's... That's musty. Yeah. That's almost to that craft note that I hate. It's getting there, but it's not quite. I think, dude, I think it's coming into the tip. Now I go back to this, I get olive juice. Olive juice. Green olives, like martini olives. So after you put your nose in the whiskey, mm -hmm. the AB, going into the new make. I think the barrel is turning it. olive juice, wow. It really is like a martini <laughs> olive in vermouth. Yeah, yeah. That's bizarre. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that nose. Before sipping it, I'm going to smell so the it's bourbon. Baking spices and oakiness with a little bit of that green. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's green. That's. Is it. A little bit of that damp barn. There's no shit in the barn, but it's like a damp barn. There's hay in there. Yeah. Okay, this is the bourbon. Wait, wait, don't keep that in order. This is the bourbon version of the whiskey. Okay. Oh, very different. Mm-hmm. Very different. But it's supposedly the same mash bill, so I can't figure out why they're... That's not a thing. Dude, what, are they, getting, what are they doing uh, differently if this is the same mash bill? I don't know, but the nose is completely different. It's a different animal. Maybe it's just older, but it's lighter in color. Yeah. Uh, what's the proof on this? Is 90 proof, so they took it down to 45%. This is 40% on the whiskey. There's something off on the nose on this. On the bourbon? Yeah. Like, I think it got proofed down. <laughs> oh, I think they probably proofed 45, it. 45. I agree. I think they probably proofed 40. it. 40. Below where they should have. If yeah. You're going, if you're going for, like, this, uh, the nice, most balanced set of flavors. All that's left is a slightly sweet oak tannin with a thin middle. Um, yeah, like a little bit of a watered-down tea. Okay, I'm going to taste... I very often find teas in American whiskeys. Freaked out that this has that pine note that I don't like, but this doesn't. Well, and again, I think it's like 70% of that note. Yeah. Like, it's threatening. Not all the way there. Yeah. Or not pine, but young grain. Oh, the taste is invisible on that. I can't even... After tasting that new make, I can't even taste this. Mm -hmm. Wait a So this one is the bourbon. It's just sweet. See, I get a lot more flavor out of the whiskey here mm -hmm. than I do from the bourbon here. The bourbon for me is the one that's going to be probably uh, 
a little bit too low on the proof to deliver mm. much flavor. That's weird. I get the reverse. Mm. This one's a little bit flat, and this one has a little more I mean, ending, I mean, but it's sure all we're... super sweet. Look at the color. No. The color is the obvious. This thing. is the one that's flat for you. Wow. Which one's darker? No, no. I know. I can tell which one is mm. which. Yeah. 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 Not a fan of either of them. Yeah, I think I could like the bourbon more if it wasn't at a 40%. There's glimmerings, gleamings of flavor there that want to show up and do some interesting things, but it's kind of really flat and thin. Like it does taste uh, watered down. Like, um, which I don't always encounter yeah. in a 40 Like if you, you ever put uh, bourbon on the rocks mm -hmm. and then the rocks melt and you forget about it and you go back and it's watered down bourbon Yep, and you try it. It's not, it's not quite that watered down, but a lot of the effects on the flavors are going to be a little bit too pulled apart. This is the rye. Now the rye, I like the rye nose. It still is that flat note though. The nose is still flat. See, I get like a clean, fresh quality to that. I'm yeah. not going for like big, robust, heavy handed flavors. Something just, different. Yeah. Clean, fresh, crisp. Yeah. Almost citrus. Of all of these, I'm liking what this rye is doing on the nose. the nose? Yeah. Of all of these, my, the white dog was my favorite nose. The corn. Yeah, but uh, hold on a second. The very, very first approach. Yeah. After we started trying these other things and you said, it's still olives. Go back, it's still green olives. Yeah, it, it's like, oh, now it's just olives, man. Yeah, you're just drinking olive juice. It's, it's a, amazing how much the nose, how much that nose changed after you get these aged things in you. It's mm -hmm. just an olive juice. Which I like olives, but I don't want to drink the juice. That is the most approachable of the whole lineup. Yeah, it's, but still not great. Still simple, mm -hmm. but I think it's going to be the most, yeah. And overall, effortless, um, balanced. I mean, it's a balanced, simple, sweet uh, rye whiskey. Overall, I have this general experience of like a numbed mouth medicinal lingering oil. Well, well we this was like 62.5%. Yeah, it won't go away. The first thing we tried, super high proof. We tried it because we we're trying to figure out the base notes, but it was so high in the proof, I think it set it up for these obviously proof down bottlings mm -hmm. to not really show up with their A game. Yeah. Do we have any, yeah, I'm gonna get a little ice and a distance from that new mate. How are we doing on time? We're good. I really don't like these. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the bourbon. No, never mind. I smelled it again. That was a mistake. I'm gonna go back to the rye. No, I went back to the whiskey. I didn't oh. go back to the whiskey. The bourbon. Now, what happened to the bourbon? It went off. Something went wrong. Yeah. Like when, when it aired out a little. It went like, oh, that's wrong. That's, that's stale, almost stale somehow. <laughs> but like it switched for me. Like for me, this was, the whiskey was here and the bourbon was here. Mm. Now. With an open glass. Yeah, yeah the whiskey's altered. up here and the bourbon's here. Now the rye is, and then rye is turning into like old lady perfume. Oh, come on. It is. Come on, old lady. You sniffing old ladies? All the time. <laughs> Don't let anybody volunteer at the old folks' home. <laughs> They're always desperate for volunteers. Just go in there to smell the. <laughs> That's so terrible. So disgusting. I'd like somebody's mindset from that. It's terrible. <laughs> okay, so um, in order of niceness at this point in the tasting, mm -hmm. for me personally, it goes rye, whiskey. These are fighting for last place. Yeah. The uh, the new make and the bourbon. The rye is still the easiest drinker, but there's no complexity. But I like the story, man. It's a hell of a story. They're making their own barrels and mm, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, there's a point at which you should let someone else do some things. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything wrong with the barrels. I uh, know me either. Like it'd be amazing if I don't, I don't know. It's just that's so rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's uncalled for. Yeah, the sniffing of ladies. Fine. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, for me, if I'm reaching for any one of these, it would be the rye. Uh, what do you would, would, Water. This fucking guy. Go, <laughs> go, go sniff an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your liver, sorry. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. <laughs>